everyone talks about these crazy jigs they tie and how, oh, this jig here, it's the supernova. It takes me an hour and 14 minutes to tie it. And yeah, you know what? Good old flame here with a bit of bunny and a bit of schlappen. It can't be denied. A bit of colored water like this, it's money in the bank. And if that one don't get them, I'll be switching over to the whacker with a bit of chartreuse in it because I do really good late season on chartreuse jigs. I don't know why, but April is just chartreuse. Doesn't even matter even when it's clear. I think the fish just, the water warms up to get really aggressive and yeah, that chartreuse just lights them up. Mad River Stinky Worm. Shrimp scented. Because quite often in, in nature, worms smell like shrimp. Of course, yeah. <laughs> it's the evolutionary process. I wonder if anyone scents their, their prawns with worm juice. <laughs> One thing when you're putting your worms on, you want to make sure you got lots of hook exposure. You don't want to cram a big fatty old worm on there and block the hook. We search out one single solitary squid leg. It's like a triple threat. Yeah, we typically we name we, I named this one years ago. This is the ham sandwich. I see some other guys that fish jigs and that they've re tried to rename it on their own, but I got mine first, so it's the ham sandwich. Hey Rod, can you see that guy down there? I don't know if it's a guy. It doesn't look like a guy to me. It's like all black. It's pretty huge, whatever it is. You can see it from that far away. Weird. It's just like standing there. You think it's scoping us out? Maybe it's a bear. I don't know. Oh, the bears shit. stand up I upright that long? What's it doing to that tree? Bigfoot. You get the squatch sighting, man? I think it might be a squatch, man. They like to come out this time of year to eat, eat steelhead kelps. <laughs> Second. <laughs> We're going on a runner, I think. See what I'm doing here? Yep. This fish tried to run out of the pool, so I keep my rod low to the water and I just let it swim back up. It's now it wants to go, eh? Only problem with this is when knowing when to lift. Sometimes you lose fish because of it, but I'll try going up with them. Oh no. Click her on for this job.
Uh, Bent Rod here again, and uh, yeah, today we were out steelhead fishing mid-April, and uh, got into uh, what are we going to five fish today so far. And the key today is uh, switching up. So we got fish on everything. We got them on jigs, got them on row, got them on uh, blades. So just remember, yeah, always, always, even if you think there's fish in a run, go through it with a couple different things. Always give them different looks, and yeah, it pays off. Tight lines and bent rods. <laughs> 